the Final Four team comes to the Nutter Center tonight to take on Ed Schilling's Wright State Raiders as Michigan State comes to town this evening. Hi, everyone, along with former Raiders standout Mark Vest. I'm Marty Bannister, and tonight is Wright State and Michigan State. And Mark Vest, not a better way to find out how good you are than by taking out one of the best teams in the country. Well, no doubt about it. Ranked sixth in the nation, an excellent basketball team. They've played so far this year without preseason All-American Mateen Cleaves. That's a quality basketball team and a good test for the Raiders. And I think certainly tonight, Mark, it's one of those situations where certainly Ed Schilling is concerned about the final score, but he also wants to see how his team matches up against one of the nation's best. Well, you know, the Raiders are going to have to come out and control themselves. The emotion, the crowd, they cannot afford to get behind early. They have to come out and play with a lot of confidence. It's Wright State and Michigan State at the starting lineups, the opening tip-off coming up next here on Time Warner Sports. Oldest months. Just call 1-800-WAY-TO-GO because DPNL's got you covered. A Final Four team at the Nutter Center tonight. The Michigan State Spartans get set to take on Ed Schilling's Wright State Raiders. Spartans come in at 9-3. They're ranked 8th in one poll, 6th in the other. The two major polls being the Associated Press and the USA Today ESPN Top 25. The Raiders come in at 3-8. and eight. Once again, going into this game, Mark Vest, Ed Schilling are going with the, the lineup, which includes Bruno Peterson and Tyson Freeman tonight. Well, and I think part of the reason for that is He's going to need these guys. He wants to get them on track and get them focused when they go back to the bench. A lot of times, some players there, you see Ed Schilling and the new duds for the big game against Tom Izzo and the Spartans. But a lot of times, players need to sit and let the game come to them. Maybe that's what he's trying to do with Israel and with Marcus May. Let him get over the initial hype of the game, sit and watch it, and get mentally into the game a little bit, watching it go up and down. So many times early on in a ball game, a lot of adrenaline, and you'll tire very quickly. Raiders with the opening tap. And it does figure to go up and down a lot tonight. Kevin Belson, Bruno Peterson, Thomas Hope, Joe Bills, and Tyson Freeman. The first five on the floor for Wright State. Morris Peterson, Charlie Bell, Andre Hudson, A.J. Granger, and Jason Richardson. The first five on the floor for Tom Izzo's Michigan State Spartans. We are underway. Wright State controls. This place is almost full, the Nutter Center, for this visit to Right State by Michigan State. Tyson Freeman. Three, Tyson Freeman. Well, that, that's the three that's, very well, Mark. That's the way the Raiders need to get started. Michigan State, I'm sure, is coming in here thinking, you know, this is the this is the game of the century for Wright State. Tom Izzo, I'm sure, has told his guys, we don't want any part of an upset here. Let's go out and knock them out early. Right for the loose ball on the baseline ride as A.J. Granger and Tyson Freeman battle for the loose ball. It's knocked out of bounds. It will belong to Michigan State. Spartans come into the game shooting 48% from the field. They hit 70% of their free throws. In fact, a foul was called on Tyson Freeman on that scramble for the loose ball. Inbounds pass quickly. Deep corner for Morris Peterson. A three no good on that fight for the rebound. A foul on Michigan State. Well, and that's what the Raiders will need to do tonight. You saw Tyson Freeman going for the long rebound. The Raiders will need to have five people rebound because Michigan State will rebound the basketball. They average 13.3 rebounds more than their opponents. We're talking about people like Arizona, Kansas, Kentucky, and the list goes on. So you have to rebound against these guys. Nelson, the crossover, the scoop to Peterson for the right shaking speed. Wright State out to a 5 nothing advantage. The crowd worked up here early on. Inside Hudson, the shot will not count. Foul prior to the shot by Hudson on Joe Bills, working underneath, trying to get back defensively. And that's one thing Michigan State brings to the table. Very athletic, very strong. There you saw that time, Andre Hudson, the Trotwood native, getting the ball. Off the quick pass and going strong to the basket. About 50 members of Andre Hudson's family are here for this game tonight. Of course, Trotwood, a Dayton suburb. A.J. Granger, though, has the lead in that category for Michigan State. He has over 100 family and friends who made the trip down I-75 from Finley. Raiders go zone to start defensively. Three no good by Richardson. And the miss track down by Kevin Belson. Raiders hold a 5-0 advantage. The game is two minutes old. 
have to be patient. Michigan State, a team that plays very, very good team defense. And you cannot allow yourself to get in a hurry. It's yeah, nice to be quick, but you don't want to be in a hurry because Michigan State will make you pay for mistakes. Shot clock down to eight. Freeman, the three partially blocked, and the loose ball, the crowd underneath by Thomas Hope. Seven to nothing. A.J. Granger gets Michigan State on the board. Three. Well, it makes it so tough when your big guys can step out and knock down that big jumper. A.J. Granger, I'm sure Tom Izzo, a little concerned over on that sideline, but silences the crowd. Inside, Melson had his shot contested airborne, and the Spartans will come the other way. The lob to Hudson on the baseline. And just like that, it's a two-point game. Wow, well, that's what you do not want to do. Michigan State rebounds the basketball so well, they tear it off the glass and they go. They got people handle the ball and their big guys run the floor. And Andre Hudson finishes. Hudson averages 11 points a game for the Spartans, six rebounds. Our leading scorer is Morris Peterson, averaging 17 a game. Bills spots up and scores for Wayne State. Three, Joe Bills. And it's a 10-5 Raider advantage. Well, we've talked about peaks and valleys throughout the season. And I'm sure Tom Izzo on the sideline thinking, boy, I hope this peak doesn't last too long. <laughs> Raiders shooting the ball extremely well, showing a lot of confidence and really looking to create things offensively as A.J. Granger again answers. Strong move with the left hand. Five for A.J. Granger, the senior from Findlay, Ohio, led his Liberty Benton High School team to a state championship his senior year. Basketball will belong to Michigan State. Change for the Spartans, Mike Chappelle. The transfer from Duke enters the game as sitting down is Jason Richardson, Chappelle, a six foot nine inch junior from Southfield, Michigan. Chappelle averages nine points a game. Michigan State now in the game with a lot of size. Bounce pass to Peterson, and he's bumped going airborne by Bruno Peterson. Peterson fouls Peterson. Bruno doing a nice job that time. Coming over to cut off the penetration. We'll take a timeout. 15-54 left in the first half and a fast start by Wright State as the Raiders holding an advantage over the Michigan State Spartans. You are watching Wright State basketball on Time Order Sports.